the bow heads. Father God, as we gather here this afternoon, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for... And we're here today to honor Frederick C. Anderson, a Congressional Medal of Honor winner. Uh, he received the Congressional Medal of Honor for capturing a battle flag through the South Carolina Infantry in the Battle of Weldon Railroad. It was a very big ordeal to capture a battle flag and a flag bearer during the era of the Civil War. And after the war, died at age 40. And from that time on, he kind of disappeared in history and no one really knew where Frederick was buried or his whereabouts. I was determined to find his grave site, no matter what, no, and no matter what happened, I kept looking and looking and looking until I did find it. Okay, my name is Charlie McGazel, I'm from Pawtucket, I'm 80 years old, I'm a Korean War veteran, I was in the occupation of Germany in 1950, 52, 53. I was on a website searching for some uh, Medal of Honor people in Rhode Island. We were going to do a, my buddy and I were going to do some research on this 35 something like of them. And I found a website called Medal of Honor Lost to History. So I opened that up and I found the link of this like 451 people on there. And one of the top persons was a guy named Anderson. I've lived with this guy every night in bed for the past six months. Looking through uh, death records, birth records, uh, census records, whatever they had there, whatever I could find. Newspapers, they have a lot of old newspapers on microfilm. And we would go through the, the dates of when he, when he got the medal looking for something when he died. And Jeanette was a big help with that. Jeanette likes uh, looking at microfilms. And a lot of times I'll find it for him, so he calls me his lucky charm, mm -hmm. that we find things in, in the articles that we're looking for. Right. This is the return of death. This is the one that gave me the clue of where he died and was buried. Down at the bottom here, you see he's buried in Dighton, Mass. It's signed by the undertaker and the coroner. Well, I come into the picture because I am the veteran service officer for the town of Dighton. And these gentlemen came to me looking to find Mr. Anderson. It, it was like finding a needle in a haystack, to tell you the truth. We found him, and we verified it was him. And Woody was the one that called me. He sent, he's left me a message on my tape recorder. Jeanette and I just come home from a store or something. He left me a message on my tape recorder saying, we found your guy. He was traveling about six inches off the floor. He was floating, Cheshire cat smile. And, um, and he, was just, he was just on cloud nine. He was really excited. And we just thank you and we honor all of those who've given their all that we might be here today. We pray these things in your name. Amen. 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 I try to imagine the, the, the day they bury this person, the sadness, the people around there crying for this person, and now he's forgotten. Nobody, nobody knows. People drive up and down the cemeteries and they pass his grave every day, but just they didn't know who he was or what, why he was there. But like I said, I use I, I use the words. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to say anymore. I just I'm glad it's over with now. My part of it. He belongs to the town now. They'll they'll take care of him.